Hi, this is Matt Navarre with AppWorks, and this is going to be part one of three talking about search features in FileMaker Pro. FileMaker has an interesting concept when you do a search. It's this thing called a found set. So let's just do a really simple search. Um, if we just hit the Find button, which also is the keyboard shortcut for Command F or Control F on Mac or Windows. Um, it brings you into find mode, and it uses the same layout that you use for data entry. And you could do something really simple like Portland in the city field, and then hit enter, or hit uh, perform find, which executes that find. So the found set is the number of records in your database that match the search that you just did. And one of the interesting things you see off the bat is you can click on this little, uh, this little chart to flip the found set from the positive and the negative. So basically you get if you look at it this way, these are all the ones that actually have Portland in there, whether they're in Oregon or Maine, or South Portland even. And then if you click the, uh, the button to flip it, which also is in the menu um, uh, command to, to choose that feature, then you can get the opposite, all the ones that are not in Portland. And sometimes that's really useful because the, uh, you might want to do a search for something that's really complex, and the search for the opposite of that thing is actually simpler. FileMaker also offers the ability to do um, searches for more than one field at the same time. So for example, if I want to find only Portland, Oregon, I can put in Portland and then in the state, OR, and that will find only Portland, Oregon. And that gives me a, a smaller set of records. Uh, FileMaker also has, when you're looking at a search, there's this little drop-down menu called Operators. And in Operators, um, you can see that the default one is actually um, well, actually, it's not even listed, but the default one is starts with. It actually searches for um, anything that starts with that particular word. But you also have exact matches, the two different types of exact matches that match the whole word or the entire exact field. Um, greater than, less than, and ranges. Ranges is interesting. Um, you can match for specific characters, today's date, and some other, some more advanced ones, and then even a Japanese specific one. Um, so let's take a look at a few of these. So let's say I wanted to find um, all the records that were contacted in 2017. So one way to do this would be to, um, to put in a date range, like 1 slash 1 slash uh, 2017 dot dot, or two, either two dots or three dots works for the range field, 12 slash 31 slash 2017. That's kind of laborious because there's a lot of stuff to type. But that will give you the 283 records that match that. FileMaker offers a really cool feature, though. You can, in a date field, just put in 2017, and then it'll automatically know, oh, you're looking for a date, you're looking for a year because it's a four-digit thing, and then automatically put in star slash star slash 2017, which is the exact same as one dot one slash one dot dot 1231 2017. So that's kind of cool. And then you can even combine these. So I can say, you know, do this search for 2017 and then find only for people who are in, like, Oregon. Um, and that finds just this small set of records that are that both things are true. So an, an interesting thing that you can do um, to, to join these uh, is to also do, uh, rather than both types of search in one request, you can do two separate search requests. So you can say, find all the records that are in Oregon, and then make a new request for the ones that are also last contacted in 2017. And that will actually get you, rather than the, the records that have both things true, it'll get you all the records that have either a thing true, one or the other, which is a much, much larger set of records. Let's take a look at some of those other range features. So we saw that one for, uh, if I just type in Portland here, um, I get Portland and South Portland. If I um, modify that, by the way, I'll do a short little aside here. You can modify your previous search by hitting Command R, Control R, which is refind. And if you go to the records, you can see in here in the menu, it's modify last find. And that brings up the previous search that you did, which might have been pretty complex, so that's a really good time saver. And I'm going to put in an, a single equal sign in here to search for Portland. And that will still get me South Portland because it's looking for that exact word. Um, but if I, if I put something in here like port, I get port Richie. And if I put in an equal sign for port, that's going to not search for Portland anymore because now it's looking for the whole entire word port, which is, is interesting. So I can also put in a double equals. And in this case, I'll get nothing because there's nothing that's just port. But if I put in double equals Portland, I'll get all the ones that are Portland but not South Portland. 
So those are, those are some of the other features that you can get when you're looking at the operators function. Um, duplicate values is an interesting one. Uh, this is really, really good if you're looking for like duplicate names of companies. So um, I have some companies in my sample set of data. By the way, the sample set of data that I'm looking at is just the free data that comes with search results. And if you, if you use the um, duplicate value operator, that will find all of the records that actually match um, where those things are duplicated. So these don't necessarily jump out right away because I haven't sorted them yet. But if I sort these by company name, then I'll actually see, oh yeah, I've got um, you know three Amanda Joneses in different cities, Archdiocese of Pennsylvania, et cetera, et cetera. So I've got you know duplicate records. Um, so that's a really, really useful feature. So let's take a look at one more thing and then we're gonna um, have, this will continue in part two of this series. So in operators, um, you also have, I wanted to show you a little bit about the greater than and less than. So we saw you can look for one year, but what if you want to find like all of the records that were contacted, say, after June 1st of 2017? That would be greater than 6-1-2017. And that will find all of them that are greater than that. If you sort it by that, that'll make kind of more sense because then you can see all the ones, you know, with a date, um, Oh, this is actually probably sorted in recent order. Yeah, this is actually descending, so I can re uh, resort that as ascending, and then I'll see it makes more sense. These are the ones right from there. So notice that I have 6.2, but I don't have 6.1. There's also a greater than equal command, um, which is just a greater than sign and an equal sign, or on the Mac, there's even a shortcut for that, uh, and on PC, what, that puts greater than and equal in one single character, and that both of those are the exact same uh, search. And that will actually find um, the 6.1 as well as the 6.2, 2017. So that's it for kind of some basic FileMaker search. We'll continue with uh, more features in the next version.